Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Art Money Success Podcast. I am your host, Maria Brophy, and we're going to talk about how to transition from being a commercial artist to being a fine artist. This is a question that came to me from Sarah, who is in my inner circle. And by the way, if you want to get on my inner circle list where you can send me emails and questions, just click the link in the show notes and the description. So Sarah has been a commercial artist for many, many, many years, and she's at a place in her life where she wants to just do her fine art, but she does not know how to make that leap. So I'm going to share some of my suggestions on how to do that. And I'm also going to share how my husband drew has made that leap just in the past year. So um, Sarah was saying that majority of her projects are commissioned works. And when you get to that place where all the money that you're making is with commission works, well, first of all, a lot of artists would love to have that problem, right? They would love to be making really good money doing commercial work and commissioned work. But then you do get to a point where you just want to paint what you want to paint. So how do you make that transition? You, first of all, you have to carve out the time. It's, it is, the advice I give for this is similar to the advice I would give to someone who works a full-time job and wants to be a full-time artist. And my advice is this, cut back on that job that pays your bills by about 20%, which means you're taking a pay cut, you're cutting back on that time, and you are opening up this space for your fine art. So that's the first thing I recommend you do. And you want to start building up your fan base for your fine art, building up your collector base, and you want to start um, doing shows and reaching people with your fine art. My previous podcast, I talked about doing art shows and how that's a great way to get your art out into the world and to get people to know you for what you do. So when you're transitioning from being a commercial artist to a fine artist, Same thing. You have to start from scratch and create bodies of work and then show them live at art venues, at art exhibits. Um, You can even have an art exhibit in your home. But you need to get your art out there and start showing it and building up your fan base. Then as time goes on and you start selling your fine art and building up that collector base, then you could cut back on the commission work a little bit more and maybe get it to 50-50. And as time goes on, eventually cut that out. So my husband, Drew, went through the same thing for many years. He said, you know, I just want to stop the commission thing and I just want to paint what I want to paint. The problem was that we have a gallery, right? And it's, it's, it's a big fat rent that we pay every month. And his art, his commission works is what supports our family and pays our mortgage and pays for everything, pays my salary. So It was tough for him making this transition, but we finally pulled it off. And here's what we did. We got his, his own art, the stuff that he likes to create for himself. We um, put a lot of effort into setting up his online website, selling his art print reproductions. And we hired a guy to handle the website and all the marketing and the advertising. And we actually brought him in as a partner and he gets 20% of our profits from everything that we sell online. 
And the reason I do that, a lot of people would say, Maria, why in the world would you give somebody a cut of your money? But here's why. Because I want a partner that is so motivated and that he knows the, the better job, the, let's see, how do I say this? The better results he gets from his job for us, the more money he makes. And um, so we set that up about a year, I want to say it was about a year and a half ago. It took us like a full year to really start seeing results with the online sales because things take time. There's a lot of things you got to figure out and you have to be patient. But we did finally start making a lot of money with the online website. Thank God, because, um, okay, and right around that time, we then hired somebody, this gal named Christine O'Donnell, to run our art gallery and handle Drew's original art sales. Um, and I still handle that, but she and I work together on that. And it, it frees me up to create other things, do licensing deals and, and other big things that I'm putting in a place for Drew. And so we got the website going and we got Christine doing more work in the art gallery for us. So Drew was still doing these commissions. And then almost a year ago now, he got really sick with COVID, ended up in the hospital for five months, almost died. And it was an absolute miracle. But while he was in the hospital, I stopped working for five months. So I didn't work because I was at the hospital every day with him. But the website was website was still making sales. Christine was in the gallery, still making sales. And so everything was kind of working even without us, which was really amazing. And... Now that Drew's home from the hospital and he's finally back at work after 10 months of not working, he's finally back. He's finishing up some commissions from last year that he had on the books before he got sick. He only has two left. And then he said no more commissions. So now every time somebody wants a commission piece, I say, nope, he's not doing any commissions. I mean, not to say he'll never do another commission, but I keep telling people, check back in March or April, check, check back with us in about four or five months and see where we're at. Um, so now he's, as soon as he finishes these last two commissions, he's just totally going to focus on his own art and what he wants to paint. And it feels really good being able to do that. But I want to say, you know, it did take us time to make that happen. So it is a transition, um, unless, you know, if you're someone who is being fully supported by a spouse or someone else, then you don't have to worry about it. But for us, we have a lot of overhead because we have a brick and mortar. We have employees. We have two employees, actually. Plus, we have to pay ourselves. Plus, we have to pay Corey, the guy who runs our website. So... And then our IT guy, who is our son, Dylan. So that's actually, let's see, one, two, three, four, uh, six people. Six people that Drew's Art supports. And um, so it was a tough transition, but we did it. <clears throat> we did it, and it's very doable. And I think if if I could go back in time... I think if I knew five years ago what I know today, I would have put all these people in place five years ago. I would have hired the guy to do the website five years ago. I would have focused on the online sales. But hey, better late than never, right? Better late than never. So I hope this was helpful. And I want to invite you to hit subscribe and please leave me a comment or leave me a review depending on which platform you're listening to this on and join my inner circle if you haven't already just click the link in the show description i will see you all next time i do love you i do appreciate you being here with me thank you
Have a great rest of your day.